can you comment about, about geochronological and radiometric methods of determining age of the Earth? If that's the basic question, it's very simple. I teach about geochronometers all the time, and I'm going to be teaching about them tonight. And so, you know, it's something I do all the time. To me, scientifically, geochronometers are the most interesting thing there is in the question about creation versus evolution. Because the geochronometers prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Earth is only 6,000 years old, but it's not millions and billions of years old. Evolutionists claim millions and billions of years. They have five arguments to deceive people into believing in millions and billions of years. But they do not have one scientific proof. But we have today over 350 scientific proofs that the Earth and the universe are young. Now, when it comes to radiometric dating processes, and for those that are not familiar with the word but would be listening, this is the supposed use of the decay of radioactive materials in order to supposedly measure the amount of time since an event occurred or a creature lived. Everybody has heard about carbon-14, probably taught about it in school. Other methods include potassium argon, rubidium strontium. There are various methods. But the point here is that absolutely none of them work whatsoever. Every one of these supposed methods that evolutionists promote start with six fatal false assumptions. Carbon-14 has 20 fatal false assumptions. We, we produced uh, a show uh, that's available on DVD with Revelation on carbon-14, another one on potassium argon showing that they do not work. And everybody listening knows they don't work if you simply think about it for a moment. We do know a way of measuring the isotopes in a radioactive sample today, but we do not know what the starting conditions were in any case whatsoever. Evolutionists make assumptions to try to build a case for what the conditions were at the beginning, but they are unable to support it. So, how can you possibly get a reliable date based on six or 20 fatal false assumptions?